about that, Dr. D here. Well, I was just reading the emails that I get from kids like you, and I have the perfect one for today's science lesson. It's from Lindsay D. from New York. Let's see what she has to say. Hello, Dr. D. A friend of mine told me that the color black is made up of all colors. But how come I can't see them when I look at the black marker or when I write or draw with it? Well, before we can talk about color, we have to talk about light. Because without light, there is no color. And let's find out why. So we get our colors from light, from sunlight. That's how we get our colors. And if we don't have light, then we have only one color, which is the color black. There are many people who believe that black is the absence of color, but is it? You see, let me explain. Light travels in wavelengths, particles also, but we're just going to focus on the wavelengths. And each wavelength is either very short, which means it's moving very fast, or it spreads out, which means it's moving slowly. Scientists have created what's called an electromagnetic spectrum. And what this electromagnetic spectrum chart is all of the wavelengths that we know about, and then they're categorized by how close together the wavelengths are or how far apart they are. And they even gave them names like gamma rays and microwaves and radio waves to name a few. But there's a very small section on the electromagnetic spectrum that is called visible light and that is the light that we can see and as you can see that is also where the colors of our rainbow are now you have to know that each color of the rainbow has its own wavelength its own speed so what scientists found out is that when the light from the sun goes through a prism which is denser than air, it causes that light to bend. And when it bends, it separates the colors according to their wavelengths, according to their speeds. And on the other end of the spectrum are the separated colors of the rainbow. Now, you have experienced density also just when you're running from the beach and you're running into the water. When you hit the water, what happens? You slow down and you bend as well because water is thicker than air. So, you might say, well, Dr. D, if the light coming from the sun is a mixture of the colors of the rainbow, then how come everything doesn't look like a rainbow? Well, that has to do with two super important words. Absorption, which means sucking in. It sucks everything in and hardly anything escapes. That suction like a sponge. And then we have reflection, which is like bouncing off. So when we see, or you see, we see a yellow banana, it is yellow because the materials of the banana absorbed all the colors of the rainbow except for yellow. It reflected yellow. An apple is red because the apple absorbed all the colors of the rainbow, but it reflected red. So let's talk about the colors black and white. The color white, it's white because it reflected all of the colors of the rainbow. No color was absorbed into the coat. So couldn't we say that white is the absence of color and not black? Because black absorbs all the colors of the rainbow. Very little is given off and then therefore we have the color black. So we're going to do an experiment using a technique called chromatography chromatography to prove if black does contain many colors and therefore we'll be able to answer Lindsay's question. Let's begin.
Lindsay, your friend was correct. Black does consist of many colors and we use chromatography in order to figure out what colors makes it up. But not all markers are the same. So try a variety of markers and see what colors are in those black markers. Happy sciencing, Dr. D.